One pro tip I can give you is I don't know why, but all of them prefer if you can speak in German. They feel more closer. How can they get a good job quickly with your advice? Alright guys, so I'm here at the moment in Bielefeld with two of my friends. One of them is studying in RWTH Aachen, the other one is studying in uh, Ostfalen. Südwestfalen. Su Südwestfalen, not Ostfalen. Uh, that's a different university by the way. Today's topic is about uh, part-time job and uh, both of them are doing internship. Both of them have spent good amount of time in Germany and I would like to know from you guys what websites did you go with? Uh, how much are you making in your part-time job? What advice do you have for future students who are coming this year? We will be addressing these things so make sure that you watch today's video till the end so introduce yourself quickly and then I'll ask you my question so yeah I'm um, Dinesh I'm doing my master's in Eisenbahn system technique railway systems engineering in RWT Jaken. my name is Alfred I have a background in mechanical engineering I'm currently doing my master's in uh, systems engineering and engineering management specialized in machine learning cool any of you can start talking about your first part-time job what you did okay how was the feeling like how much were you making and how you got okay. that my first part-time opportunity was in a chocolate factory. It was called uh, Lambert's. Where was that? It was in Aachen. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, it was through a consultancy. Like there are uh, in in Germany or uh, probably in just in Aachen or just all through Germany, you usually have consultancies or you apply through websites. So when you go through consultancies, you give you a contract and you just go by the hour, just work for eight hours in a week. The basic pay starts, like I think it, it was 12.5 euros per hour when I came. I think it's 13 now, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it was pretty exciting to know because we have just watched how the chocolates are produced in National Geographic when we were just back in India. Now working from the, working for them, probably in the first few days was exciting, but after that it becomes pretty daunting because it's, you know, it's it's labor work. Just yeah. have to keep doing one task all day long and it gets really tiring after some time. Okay. My first uh, part-time job was at uh, Tankstelle, a patrol pump as a cashier so my university is in a village so I, I also live near to the university so it there was this tank chalet where uh, I could somehow find a job because I, I tried applying a lot in lots of places for part-time and it, during my semester it was tightly packed so I don't know somehow I got this job and and this was because I think because I had a little bit background in German before I came to in, uh, Germany so I could make more conversation they were also looking uh, actively looking for someone to take over the job so I got a job in the accounts as a cashier the, yeah I mean sometimes it's it, it was okay but sometimes you have to handle the whole uh, petrol pump alone and uh, it could be at night but the pay was pretty good I could have a decent uh, uh, living out of it so yeah. just just to put things in perspective right uh -huh. how much was your take home amount so, after tax so I was working as uh, part-time during my semester so I could say on an average I could have uh, 800 to 850 in my hand after tax was that good enough for your survival uh, in in that city that I was living in it's called Zost it's not that expensive and it's uh, it's a small town so your expenses are also low and I was to live in a, a university dome and which was really cheap so it was okay for me how much much were you making in your through uh, a first part time? It really depends. Like if I'm working for more than 20 hours in a week, yeah, I'll be. Figure. I'd say the average is around thousand, thousand, thousand euros. euros. Yeah. In Aachen. Yeah, in Aachen. Yeah. Okay. What are you guys doing now? Two years as well for you? Yeah, two years as well. Yeah. What Academic are you doing now? 22. Like currently? So, I'm doing my internship in a German company. How you got that? It was through a messe. Like it was a job messe in RWT Jaken, and I just met my manager over there. I just gave myself as a pitch what my experiences were, what my interests were. Can and you that's explain to people what is messe? It's it's like a job fair. Job yeah, yeah, it's okay. a job fair. Yeah, and you got your you got to see your manager first time in a job fair. Yes, and then you applied in a company. Uh, yeah, we had we had a few talks like about the exp about my experience and how my experience will fit into the company. And yeah, the talks grew, and I got an interview. I just cracked the interview, and thus now I'm working as an intern over there. So yeah, does it pay you good? Yeah, it pays me pretty good compared to the chocolate factory. So <laughs> yeah, can I know how much? Uh, at least least um, just... I'd say I'd get a take home of eighteen hundred euros. Okay, wow. Is this like average what everybody gets in internship or uh, you're getting something a bit more I guess? Yes, yes. Right? Normally I guess people make around 1200 or probably 1400. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the case but um, I guess I'm lucky. <laughs> nice one. What about you? So right now I'm doing my internship also in a company in Parabon and I'm working in my field of machine learning and I found this job by applying. I directly applied to the company on their uh, career portal and yeah, I got an interview call and I passed that. 
Okay. You both work like a full-time employee, yep. which is eight hours. So during the internship period, it was full-time. That is eight hours a day, five five days a week. And uh, when I was doing part-time, it was uh, 20 hours a week, okay. approximately. But currently, since you're doing an internship, you're working eight hours uh, a day. Yeah. Uh, for me, my Dinesh internship is working eight hours a day. Yeah, I'm working eight hours in a day, and like if you count for the complete week, for the whole week, I'm working for 40 hours in a week. So huh. it's kind of like full time. Like what happens to your studies then during this time? Uh, okay, I'm actually credited for the work that I do in internship. So it's like a pre semester for me for oh, doing nice. my internship. So it's not like I'm taking a break from studies, but I'm continuing my studies in the internship. So. Uh, it's the same. I have completed all my modules, so I was uh, ready for uh, internships because I thought once I complete my modules, I could have a more on my, you know, more something to say on the CV. And yeah, so during my first internship was an Erasmus Plus internship in Poland, and from there I applied for this company. And yeah, okay. it was pretty good. Since both of you are experienced, what advice would you give to somebody who's flying in winter intake this year, 2024? How can they get a good job quickly with your advice it doesn't matter if they're going to a big city or a village literally what advice do you have in my experience for the regular part times it's pretty hard to find in big cities because big cities there are lots of a crowd and many students so I think it's easier to find a part-time job in smaller villages where the competition is lesser. Now, don't you think like then just to argue with my side, like, mm -hmm. no wait, I mean, just to play devil's advocate, you said it's easier for one to get a part-time job in a smaller city or a town or a yes, village. Yeah. But don't you think in bigger cities, they have a bigger opportunities and uh, number of opportunities is wider? Uh, this could also be the case, but this is from my experience that uh, my friends from a bigger town was looking for a uh, part time in my village so really? yes they they could not find uh, uh, this is i'm talking about the smaller part time like for example mcd or burger king because all the, all of them they have a huge amount of uh, applications so they don't even consider it the moment you go in but in my case in a village it was much much easier and on the other hand uh, it is so people coming for the winter semester 2024 i would also recommend that if you have a basic german where you can at least make conversations it would be i would say it would be at least 10 times faster for you to land a job and uh, it would also be helpful for your, of course, for your daily life. And also, when you look for actual full-time job in your field, the interviewers actually they do ask. I even if they, it's a English-speaking job, they prefer. I don't know why, but all of them prefer if you can speak in German. They feel more closer. Uh, this is my experience. But yeah, and I would say also to have a little bit of experience before you do a master's. If you are a fresher, you there is a good chance that you get a job. But it's advisable to have a little experience from. Uh, your home country and then apply for masters it would be would be doing wonders can you name three job portals where i can apply part-time job or internship sure a linkedin indeed stepstone i don't know if this works my short tip would be that if you find a job on linkedin or whichever portal go to that company's private uh, website and then apply from the career page this i don't know if this works but it seems like it worked for me it's at super least practical what you're saying actually yeah yeah Should so work. i think yeah that would be my small tip for someone's coming. What advice do you have for somebody mm -hmm. who's coming in winter intake 2024? Finding part-time job and internships. Mm -hmm. Considering part-times, I'd say go for a mini job, focus on your studies because and focus on a German because yeah, part-times might be a good way to earn money, but they are not the best way. You're here to get experience, learn German, get that experience and land a job, get done with the studies. And yeah, for somebody who's coming to Germany, if you want to earn some money, just do a mini job other than your studies. Just do it for fun, not as a hardcore exercise because it's going to eat up a lot of your time and a lot of resources and so yeah focus on your German yeah. I can't stress this enough so yeah can you name three job portals where you applied in the past uh -huh. it was now jobs job valley for part-times and for example if you're looking for internship there is no one size fits all solution you can apply on companies job portals there are websites which advertise you can go to messages where you can find people you can just interact with them just give them your pitch and if they like your pitch you're getting in so just try any way possible because you just need to get it to work once and yeah all right guys so that's all uh, i will leave some important links in the description of this video make sure that you check them out that was their story uh, of course when you guys came situations were very different to what it is today i guess yeah. and uh, i'm sure by the time you're going to be here one pro tip i can give you is open for be open for change and if you're coming to a particular city in germany don't make that city your life move out and uh, just just look for opportunities around if you 
you're not getting something, you know. And just keep applying is what I yeah. can say. All right, that's the only way. Keep hammering, and I'm sure one something will open for you. Yes. With that being said, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye.